I didn't come to this planet to be an NPC. I came here for something more, for something greater, for something greater than myself. And you watching this, you're here for more. You feel a call, but you might not know what that is yet. But then we look at society. We're continuing to repeat the same patterns as our ancestors. Something is not right. And we know more people are waking up to this fact. And again, it's why you click this video. You're seeking more. You're seeking something. And that something may not have been done before. Think about what's the definition of insanity? Well, it's doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result or a different outcome. And as a society, we're already insane. You've probably read the history books and you know we're doing the same mistakes we have in the past. They just look slightly different because of the rise of technology. Whether that's the financial world and the variety of cultures around the world or even in ruining our beautiful planet. Even though we had some ancestors that did it right, they lived with nature. And it was unfortunate that other humans came in and destroyed that culture. Not only the culture, but they destroyed the land. And that's thinking of the Spanish and Europeans destroying the Aztec culture, Europeans coming and destroying the Native American culture. And if you read books like The Fourth Turning, which I've made a video about, you will understand that we do make the same mistakes. We kind of fall into this cycle and this cycle repeats itself. And I believe the reason why we're repeating this cycle is because we do not learn from our mistakes. And it's gotten to a point that if you read these books, people can already tell what's coming. While it may not be perfect, they don't have 100%, they have an idea. We don't listen as individuals, as a society, community, civilization. We just don't. And when it's too late, we'll be starting all over again. And when we look at other writings from Greece and other ancient civilizations, in order to revolutionize the world and accept a different kind of world and some change, things will need to be very uncomfortable for a lot of us. And some sacrifices may need to be made in the short term or the long term. And those sacrifices are for future generations. These sacrifices create change. I mean, look at history. Whether you agree with their causes or not, historical figures like Martin Luther King Jr., John F. Kennedy, Che Guevara, Joan of Arc, Jesus, and many others who sacrificed themselves for the greater good of humanity. And and even though some of those causes did great things for the world, some didn't. But those people made the noise. They made history. And they taught us what to do, what is good, and what is not. For revolution and for change, they made the ultimate sacrifice. It's a scary thought to imagine sacrificing your own life, being a target. And sometimes it may not even be death but a different kind of death, a death of character. It may be our death of our security, the death of our comfort, death of our conveniences. It's going to be a death of some kind, but fear holds us back. Think of all these billionaires, millionaires out there. They hold on to their money because of fear. And because of that, we're afraid to make the changes necessary. We're afraid to lose what we've built. It's the typical sunk cost fallacy. But in this case, it's the sunk cost fallacy of civilization. And right now, we're on the path of either or. At this moment, humanity will either flourish or become extinct. It really depends on the choices we make as a civilization moving forward, but more so as an individual. And this divide that has been created through people in power needs to go. The divide is what's making us not work together to survive, to be a better civilization, to not make the same mistakes as our forefather. And this time we all have a responsibility as individuals, as communities, as a nation, as a civilization. No matter how small, we have to move society forward. And this starts with you. Find your mission, find what you are meant to be in service to, what is your path, whatever God, the universe, or insert any of the God you believe in has brought you here for, find it.